Mother Teresa of Calcutta received the highest honor the United States government bestows upon a civilian. I happened to be in Washington, D.C., preaching at the National Basilica that week. I was preaching at the Rosary Congress in the Basilica. Mother was on television before a joint session of Congress receiving the highest award the United States gives to a civilian. You remember? She was on television. Many of you saw it. She talked about the unborn. She talked about defending life in front of the president, the vice president, the whole Senate, the House of Representatives. You know, that little diminutive, elderly, fragile, sick little woman. Ninety days from then, she was to die. Now, she received that award on a Thursday. I met with her privately on Friday, which was the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She died exactly 90 days later. Mother Teresa is one of those people, she had absorbed the Word of God. I remember talking with her and marveling. She couldn't speak about anything other than Jesus. There wasn't anything in her other than Jesus. There was nothing else left except Jesus Christ in that woman. And she talked to you, and all she and Jesus is like this. And Jesus takes care of the poor. And you've got to see Jesus in the poorest of the poor. And every other word out of her mouth, she was totally centered on the Word of God. And she understood that the Word of God isn't something. The word of God is somebody. She had become one, totally one, with the Word of God. And all his power was at work in her. She looked at me. And she said, take a good look at me now, Father. She said, look, look how little I am. And I said, well, you are little, Mother. <laughs> Littler than I remember. You must have shrunk. <laughs> and she said, well, look how poor I am. You know, I've been doing what I do well over 50 years. And my entire world pos worldly possession, I can fit in a little tiny bag, pack in five minutes, go any place in the world. I'm poor. I said, I know you're poor, Mother. She said, you know, and look at me. I'm sick. Look how sick I am. I'm in a wheelchair. She couldn't walk around. Said, they have to feed me several times a day. I can't feed myself. They, they have to give me something to drink every 15 minutes. They have to aspirate my lungs twice a day. They're filling up with fluid. I said, I know you're sick, Mother. And then she absolutely leveled me with a gaze I'll never forget. It was the gaze of Jesus Christ. And she said, and now, Father, look what Jesus did with a little poor sick woman. I have over 500 houses all over the world. I've got over 5,000 sisters all over the world. I've picked up more than 60,000 dying destitute men out of the streets of Calcutta alone. Look what the Word of God can do with nothing. And you go do the same thing. <laughs> I got the point, do you? That's what the Word of God can do. If my pain and my darkness console you, do what you want with me, my Lord Jesus. If my separation from you puts others on your path, and if their love brings you joy, then Jesus, I readily suffer that which I am suffering. Your will is everything I desire. Now I know that you have never abandoned me. Everything we do is just a drop in the ocean. But if we don't do it, that drop will be missing forever. <laughs> 